Here's the exterior. Ready to go inside. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my new listing. Some of you might recognize it as it's a family friend. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through the house, but first I just wanted you to keep your eyes open for all the new stuff, like the flooring, the railing, um, the kitchen's been redone, bathrooms have been, almost everything in this house has been updated or remodeled. So just keep your eyes open for that. And let's go take a look. Look at this beautiful new door. New vinyl plank flooring. You can see they redid the railing here. It looks really great. All right, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. And the new flooring continues throughout cabinets have been painted and the countertops have been redone. I believe that they're leaving this here and the refrigerator is negotiable, but they are planning on taking it. Look at that. It looks so great. And when we have, when I've been here for like game night, there is easily eight people sitting at this table. So very roomy. I'll take us to the backyard when I get downstairs, but look at this brand new composite deck. And it's actually a pretty good size yard. It, it extends past the fence line right there on both sides. Um, I could get an image of the property line if you have any questions about that, but here's another view of the living room. All right, so let's check out the bedrooms, but first they've got coat closet. This Nest thermostat is staying. And hopefully my camera could pick it up, but this bathroom has been completely updated. It's super clean. In case you want to peek in the shower, I always do. And let's see. Yep, that design is pretty fluid throughout this bathroom. And then there's another hall closet or linen closet. I'll take us into the master bedroom first. And as you can hear, it's pretty quiet inside the home. And they have a view of the backyard as well. Oh, look, you could see the fire pit. All right. Let's check out the master bath. Again, super clean and very updated. Got the new glass doors. And all of the light fixtures have been updated too. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And then it's got a nice little walk-in closet right here. Now I'm gonna head into the secondary bedrooms. I feel like the rooms seem like they were a good size. Let's take a peek in the closet. Nice. I like how the flooring, you know, I've seen a lot of homes where it just stops there and then I see carpet in the 
bottom. I'm just really glad they carried the floors into the closets as well. And now we're going into the third bedroom, or some people might call it the second. And then in here, the closet is So these doors are new and they have 50 year warranty on them that is transferable to the buyer. So anywho, gonna say good night to this room. All right, I'm coming back through and I wanna show you guys the finished basement um, slash man cave or home office, or it could actually be a fourth bedroom. In Kansas, you need two exits and a closet in order to call it a bedroom. So all this needs to be a full bedroom would be a closet. But look how big this is. It's currently used as a rec room. Or I should say it was used as a rec room. And one of the things that this video doesn't show is <laughs> the carpet, it's very squishy. So you know they put some good carpet and padding down here. Um, and then this is a walkout basement. So let's check out the backyard. So we've got a covered patio back here. And you could see that yard, it's just huge. There's that fire pit again. And look, they even left you some firewood for your first s'mores cooking event. <laughs> and look at, here's the brand new deck from underneath. They did such a good job. All right, it's wet, but I'm checking out the deck. And it's nice to be surrounded by neighbors who take care of their property and replace a fence. That looks pretty good too. I almost forgot to show you the garage, but I didn't forget. So that's all that matters, right? All right, here we go. Look at that. I'm not sure if my camera can pick this up from my phone, but this is actually pretty deep. You have plenty of room for any toys or if you wanted to put a workshop in here or workbench. And down here we've got the sub basement. I mean, you could always finish this out and use it for something else. but they've kept it pretty neat and clean. They've got a sump pump over there with the battery backup. There's just so much room in this house. Hi again. Okay, so that concludes our tour of the house on 1124 East Butterfield Place in Olathe, Kansas. Also known as our friend's house. And I just wanted to I don't know. I'm just really happy and proud of all the work that they did. So I wanted to make sure that it got seen even more than the photos because they might not always show everything that happens and all the work that was put in. I mean, this house was built in 1994, but I feel like it looks brand new. It could be your new home. Just reach out to me and let me know if you want a private showing and I'd be happy to arrange that. Thanks. Have a great day.